In this video, we'll create an overlapping joint. First, I'm going to select the top panel, go to the links section of the properties menu and open up the left side options. You can only apply an overlapping joint when the priority is set to overpassing. So let's change that now. Zoom in. So we can see that the top panel overpasses the side panel here. With the priority set to overpassing, we have an overlap parameter box. I'm going to type in 20 millimeters and you can see that the top panel now overlaps the side panel by those 20 millimeters. Please note that the actual carcass dimensions haven't changed. The overall cabinet size dimensions haven't changed. We have a width of 600 millimeters after the overlap's been applied. Let's undo that. We still have a width of 600 millimeters. So in fact, let me redo it. What has in fact happened is the left side panel has moved in by 20 millimeters. We can also apply a negative overlap. Let's go to the links left side, put a minus in. It's not that clear with 20, let's put 40 millimeters. You can now see that the top panel has moved in by 40 millimeters. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.